I'm sure a lot of games could have their um, in-game currency traded on Coinbase. And I mean, what would that do for the world? It would allow people to spend time. Like, why would you be the janitor when you can play video games? You know what I mean? Like, it's just like. Okay. Okay. Okay, we okay. talked about that. Um, listen, I don't know about hog talk or whatever, but I'm officially a TikToker. Okay, let's be real. I'm officially a TikTok boy. Okay. If you are bored, bored. TikTok. This vi video is for you. What the fuck, dude? TikTok is insane. Okay. I don't know where I was at, but last night, uh, towards the end of the stream, I posted this. I posted this TikTok. It already has 1.5 million views. Okay. It became my most popular TikTok. And I, I think I had like 70,000 followers or something. And now I have 122,000. It's nuts, dude. It blew up. And it's something that it's look at how simple this is, dude. Look at how simple this was here. Evil empire laughing all the way to the <laughs> evil empire. That's laughing it. All the way to the <laughs> evil empire. That's it. Going forward, going forward, I'm 100% going to do like one tic tac a day. Okay. It's stupid. It's dumb. Obviously, I get it. You use TikTok like a boomer. Uh, doesn't matter. 1.5 million goddamn views. I just reported that TikTok. Okay. I need Adderall. Um, you know, never commit suicide. Everything going to see all right. Okay. Never commit suicide. Do not unalive yourself. Okay. Idiot. Hey, mad. Please stop calling them Tic Tacs as my boomer dad calls them. I don't know why it like feels really funny. And I like saying it. This vid showed up on my TikTok for, for you page. I don't follow you. How come you don't follow me? What is this? You are literally a 21 month subscriber. You don't follow me on TikTok. What the fuck is this shit, dude? How much money you make off TikTok? Zero dollars and zero cents. Um, anyway, Grimes explained on TikTok how gaming can lead to UBI. Not sure if you saw this. So Oh my God, Grimes, come on the broadcast. What the, please. Can you fix Grimes? Dude, I love Grimes' music. I think she's a very interesting person. She would be, she would be a perfect guest to have on this broadcast, like straight up. Perfect guest to have on. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's, let, let's do a deeper dive into what the fuck's going on in Grimes' world, okay? So a few months ago, I said I was interested in uh, radical wealth redistribution through gaming and uh, everyone made fun of me and said I was insane but I would like to explain myself if that's okay so I yes please please that is okay there's nothing more okay than that what Fucking time. Okay. I've been following this um, super deeply but um, a few months ago I heard about this game called Axie Infinity um, and Apparently, people in the Philippines were making like way more than their regular living from just playing this game. So the quote here I have is, an hour's play per day now nets player nearly double the income of his feed sales job. Um, about $2,000, 100,000 Philippine pesos last month. The rest this of is the, the time, worst idea. Now looks after his grandmother. This is the he worst idea. The game's utility nor the in-game demand that generates real money for him, calling it a blessing. So the currency from Axie Infinity can be traded on Coinbase, meaning that you could make money in the game and then you could like trade that money into Ethereum or Bitcoin and then subsequently trade that money into USD or any other currency, basically. And like this is just some like, I don't want to say janky, but like early pro- I mean, people do make money off of old school RuneScape too. You got gold farmers in Venezuela and shit. That doesn't mean it's like a viable solution, okay, to material inequality. And also, I don't even understand how this thing works. Like, that's just, yeah, just because, yeah, China still farms WoW gold. You know who also was a big fan of the, uh, the, the, the power farming happening? Did I forget to run the ad, by the way? I did. I literally did. Or no, I didn't. I actually did run the ad. Um, I don't want the auto caption on this thing. I just, I want to get it off this. How? How do I stop? How do I stop the auto caption from captioning my stupid dumbass? How? How do I stop it? So annoying. I have my dashboard. Oh, I just paused the video. All I need to do is pause the video. That's what I do. And then when I pause the video, it works. Prototype. Like this is just a thing that happened that has been massively benefit benefiting like tons of people. Um, and it just kind of got me thinking. 
with the rise of automation, so many jobs are just not going to make any sense. So many jobs are going to be replaced. And that game leeches your GPU power to mine crypto and pays you pennies. That sounds awful, dude. Oh, anyway, what I was saying is Steve Bannon uh, also noticed the uh, the the wow gold farmers in China and uh, got Goldman Sachs to invest in them early on. He was an early adopter of that. Okay. So, you know, not saying that like Grimes and Steve Bannon have a similar worldview, but just showing you that uh, these kinds of uh, shops opportunities are not exactly as positive as one would think. Okay. Yes, of course, I will follow Grimes. Hopefully, we can have her come on broadcast. Thank you for sending me the self defense training. We are absolutely going to be taking a look at this later. We're going to do a deep dive on my man. This is the greatest thing I've ever seen, but that's later. You know, obviously people just love playing video games. Almost everybody I know loves playing video games. And, you know, we could get into a system where people are doing enjoyable, creative things where they're engaging with our beautiful art. Um, okay, I got to point something out here, but like Grimes went from living with Elon Musk to living in like the basic starter LA apartment like that. Like this is the most, this is the most starter apartment that you can get in Los Angeles. It's like, I've lived in, in an apartment like that. I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but this is like, I mean, she's got this, it's got nice wood though. So I don't know if that's like, she still lives with Elon. Wait, really? Why the fuck does Elon Musk live in a, in a LA starter apartment? You think that place has vertical blinds? No, sh that's, that's a vertical blind ass apartment. Yes, absolutely. You're, you're right. That's a vertical blind ass apartment, dude. Um, and making a living off it. And it's taking- You two have nice wood? Yeah, no shit. I don't live in a LA starter apartment anymore. I very publicly purchased a home. I don't know if you remember that. Um, I don't know if you know that or not, but uh, very publicly it got uh, destroyed for uh, purchasing a, a seven gorillion dollar mega mansion castle up way less of their day than if they were like working in a field picking strawberries which frankly nobody should be doing like that's an automatable job um and i love this because it's like frankly nobody should be doing manual labor okay true uh definitely am uh definitely am on board with that also they should be enslaving themselves on on some pay to play like weird uh, cryptocurrency weird cryptocurrency uh, job is that I have a bad, I have bad vertical blinds apartment. I didn't even have to let Elon Musk get me pregnant. Jealous. I mean, yeah, I am. You get to live in, listen, you, you're, you're living La Vida Loca. Okay. That's what you're doing. She just discovered gold farmer. She's an idiot boomer. Keg W guys stop saying Grimes, the idiot boomer. She gets attacked a lot and I want her to come on this broadcast. Okay. Narf barf. Thank you for the 10 tier one gift subs. Um, if your house was more expensive, people wouldn't have gotten that mad. Wait, what? Yes, they would have. Are you kidding me? It's not traditional UBI, but I do wonder if there is a world in which, um, yeah, we can kind of reconfigure gaming um, where it can engage with crypto or engage with, or, or I'm sure a lot of games could have their um, in-game currency traded on Coinbase. And I mean, what would that do for the world? It would allow people to spend time. Like, why would you be the janitor when you can play video games? You know what I mean? Like, it's just like. Okay. Okay. Without artificial intelligence and automation, we will still need productive labor. Okay, no matter what, rubber ducky forty four. Thank you for the five tier one gift subs. Okay, we still need productive labor right now, as it stands. And under a capitalist organization of the economy, more technology has not necessarily decreased the time spent in the workplace. Right now, as it stands, I forget what the actual estimation is. I've read a billion different things about this, but like tech in the field demonstrably has not decreased the time spent on tasks for the average worker but instead has made us into 24 seven robots that work even offline when we are not supposed to be working, right? Just like artificial intelligence and, and uh, you know, automating the labor force in its entirety is not actually going to solve wealth inequity or wealth inequality or income inequality. It's simply going to uh, further enslave humans. Now, 
Am I anti-technology? Of course not. I love the idea that everyone should be able to just exclusively work on fulfilling things and don't have to toil the land, okay? And don't have to fucking pick strawberries. I think that would be great. But the problem is, when that happens, uh, as we have seen so far, especially in like the last 30 years, when a company focuses on technology to, uh, to, to make their uh, assembly line more efficient, for example, or make their logistics uh, more efficient, they end up cutting the workforce instead of cutting down the hours that the existing workforce has to work while keeping their pay the same or even raising their pay because it's literally anti-capitalist to do that they're like why the fuck would i do that it's now more it's more efficient and that's precisely why and you've probably seen this already there is that classic productivity versus uh wage uh, uh graph that we show regularly on this broadcast where productivity has skyrocketed as a consequence of technological leaps that we have made whereas wages have remained stagnant so i'm not anti-technology uh, I will never be anti-technology. I love technology. But the problem is technology under our current organization of the economy is creating a system where you still work the same amount, if not more, okay, for the same wages. The profits are increasing. Shareholder value is increasing. But your labor, albeit more productive now, is still the exact same. And then you factor in inflation and all of a sudden it's ac actually not the same. It's actually much, uh, your money does not go the same long way that it once did. So you're technically losing money while working better, more efficiently. I wish that, um, you know, technological leaps and bounds were used uh, to, to better mankind rather than, you know, fill up uh, capital owners' pockets. Productivity gains are needed in socialist systems too? Yes, of course. I am not anti-productivity. I'm not even anti-efficiency. I love efficiency. Bro, are you pretending to talk to her? No, I'm pretending to talk to 26,000 weirdos on the internet who click in here, okay? Including you. Love when, it, love when a chatter says, what are you, pretending to talk to the person on the screen? While simultaneously, they're pretending to talk to me, okay? And they just got lucky that I read their comment. <laughs> Good one, chatter. This is kind of like Squid Game, if you think about it. What, everything is Squid Game, bro. Every, yo, it's just like that Squid Game, bro. So... That's the main problem, I think. That's one of the that's one of the biggest problems with capitalism is that when the company makes more money, okay, when the company makes more money and yields better returns year over year, your wages don't necessarily increase alongside that. Also, shareholder value could technically increase when you literally eliminate certain parts of your sector or your workforce. Shareholder value increases, for example, when you merge with another company, you buy them out, okay? And then you literally rip up half of their workforce because it's a redundancy. All of a sudden, you're a much bigger company with much less uh, manpower. There's less upfront cost. There's less uh, cost of running that business now. And boom, shareholder value is increased. But that had a depressive, that had a, a, uh, a depressive impact on the economy overall. So I love... When people talk about automation as a solution to uh, a lot of the problems under capitalism, but most people don't really recognize that uh, it's the system that we need to solve rather than, uh, you know, rather than just like hyper focusing on the automation. And don't get me wrong, automation we should still focus on. I think that's great. It's a wonderful thing. I just want to feel like my favorite streamer appreciates me. Dude, oh, come on, dude. You know I appreciate this audience. Like, this is so ridiculous, dude. If I didn't appreciate you, mother. I wouldn't stream seven days a goddamn week for six to eight hours every day, okay? Jesus Christ, dude. I literally don't even, I don't, <laughs> most streamers of this size only interact with chat through subscriptions and TTS. I literally sit here for eight hours and read every single line in the, in the uh, chat. And, and there's still mother who are like, oh, I don't know if my streamer appreciates me. Like, oh my God. I took two days off this year. Yeah, like two days. This is just how I show my appreciation, okay? Just one guy, just one Spider-Man or woman, we don't know for sure. Kind of like he gives people hope. Maybe eventually everything's going to be all right. What the fuck? What is this guy saying, dude? My dad left a briefcase. That's all I got, a briefcase full of junk. Whatever, I don't know. I try not to think about it. What is happening here, dude?
Working physically is what makes my life livable. I hate leftists who believe we should try to make all blue collar work automated. I love being productive. Okay, dude, but there's a lot of labor that humans engage in that is not necessarily fulfilling. And you basically have to do the exact same thing over and over again. Most of the, most of the work that you do on an assembly line is basically uh, treating you like a part of a mechanical Turk, okay? You're, you're literally just a cog, quite literally just a cog in the machine. So even though you personally might appreciate it, and there are people who appreciate, uh, you know, doing physical labor, and that's great. Ultimately, you're just engaging in a route task, uh, and, and it's not great. It's just, you know, you could find more fulfillment doing other things. Sort by 2021, there's only two days that have, uh, yeah, no hours watched. I know. I mean, dude, literally, look at this. Look, look, look. 2021 so far, I've only had two days where I haven't streamed. I streamed every single day since I got banned for a week, you know, on 821. I got banned on 2019, okay? And since then, I have streamed every single day except for two days in 2021. Remember when I said this year I was going to focus on myself after the psych, you know, the, the insanity of last year because I streamed 42% of last year. Why did you get banned? You know why I get banned, mother, you know. Anyway, all right. Um, asset stripping is a term used to refer to the practice of selling off a company's assets in order to improve returns for equity investors. In many cases where the term is used, a financial investor referred to as a corporate raider takes control of another company, then auctions off the acquired company's assets for the record. Okay, we talked briefly about Grimes. She said, oh, by the way, she's been going through it. So I just have literally zero interest in being famous anymore. My job requires being on social media. It's equivalent to an emotionally abusive relationship to hear countless times throughout the day what a failure I am just in order to do my job on the most basic level. Concluded that things can only hurt you when you decide to let them. Stand by what I said, because we must improve internet mental health situation for all, but I choose optimism core vibe. Rather be free and hated than beloved, but in psychological chains. Good night. Or night ask her to come on your twitch broadcast again i mean i'm <laughs> yes i am thinking of different ways in which how i can do that okay grandma let's get you to bed me when i tell that car that just ran me over to stop okay listen 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 i just for one day dude for one day i want to know what it's like to live like this okay for one day i wish i could just like be like a crystal mommy okay because i feel like they have so much fun I have like insane amounts of like, I have crippling anxieties, okay? So much insecurity that I have to combat on a daily basis, okay? And I just like hyper fixate and hyper focus on all the worst possible shit I could. I think everybody f hates me, okay? Cause I see like, you know, dog shit comments regularly on the internet. I just wanna be able to be like, I'm just not gonna let this get to me. And I wanna, I'm choosing optimism as a core vibe. Like, I wish I could do, fucking do that. It's so much fun. Pretty rocks, solve all problems. They took the best part of spirituality and left the rest. Fuck it, dude. Great. <laughs> I don't wanna be horny anymore. I just want to be happy. Oh, it's true. I do feel that way. What you need, sir, is known as a therapist. What do you mean? Why would I have a, why would I get a therapist when I have 30,000 of you in here to use as a therapist? Yo, men will literally become famous on a, a platform where they can face the abuse that they get from their online bullies and monetize it instead of going to therapy, okay? <laughs> optimism is a trap, at least it has been in my life. I've never felt optimism, like ever in my entire life. I, I've... The last time I felt optimism was Bernie Sanders uh, in Nevada. The night that Bernie Sanders won the Nevada primary was when I actually felt optimism and I felt good about the movement. I felt good about progress in this country. Uh, I'm optimistic on getting some bitches. We are just built different. Okay. She posted a pretty ranty TikTok about this all. I know I've been a total her hermit, but... Bro, I don't know what it is. I feel like her, I feel like her fits, they just speak to me, okay? They just do. I don't know what it is. I think it's very cute. Um, frankly, I've developed- She just straight up looks like a, like an anime character. I don't know what it is. I don't know what's going on. You are absolutely down cataclysmic. I just, I think it's cool. Like, it's very Disney cool. From public life, which maybe everyone can kind of relate to right now. Cancellations aside, I've been like <laughs> dragged into a little literal geopolitical 
the scandals on CNN, depositions, had all my sh personal shit leaked by friends, which led to more depositions, had stalkers showing up at my house trying to kill me when I'm eight months pregnant, and, you know, dragged into conspiracy theories about resource extraction and somehow ended up as some kind of Marie Antoinette-esque symbol for... It is wild that this person is a mom, like, when you think about it. Like, that's a mom. I mean, obviously, there's, like, a lot of moms that are probably even worse off and don't actually have, like, enough wealth to be able to also, on top of that, like, you know, at least give some of the responsibility off to a, uh, you know, to someone who could be uh, more capable at that. Not saying that Grimes not capable of uh, raising a child, but it is kind of crazy that Grimes is that friend that's crawling back to us after a breakup where she only paid attention to her boyfriend. I could give an entire f what you think. Hope you find love because there's beauty all around you and the only thing in between is your brain. Crazy radical idea. That, whoa, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> Imagine your mom doing anime face paint, recording TikToks and stuff. I mean, I feel like that's the future, first of all. Like, what do you, what do you think? What, what, do, you, what do you think is going to happen? Like, what? what's going to happen when all these TikTok moms and dads uh, have children? Chat, all I'm going to say is trust in the process believe in the vision okay a lot of you have been around at least some of you that have been around since the beginning have doubted me every step of the way you have said time and time again oh you should be more woke and like make sure that any kind of minor infraction is punished okay that you know there should never be a situation where someone comes in who wants to learn who wants to say something like uh that could be uh you know a microaggression you should ban them immediately and permanently you've said time and time again like oh man why are you moving away from uh just doing exclusively politics you're gonna do react streams what the f why would you ever do that okay you have doubted me every step of the way just trust okay put your trust in me i have a vision I've always chosen the process except when GTA was eating you alive. Yeah, GTA burned me, okay? It, 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 you know, ate away at my soul, but. I love Grimes because people think as soon as you have a kid, a woman's life is over. They're no longer attractive or have any personality and Grimes breaks through that stereotype, says Indigi queer. No, I don't, I don't have a problem with people, you know, uh, being their best self or however they want to express themselves while simultaneously having a child. I don't think people are, some people are definitely saying that, but that's not the reason why people are like, what the f this person has a child, okay? Or inequality in the pop stan community which frankly is fairly entertaining and i'm not mad at that long story short i've developed <laughs> like debilitating anxiety about being online which has been super annoying to my label my team and me because like <laughs> fear is the mind killer first of all if i'm gonna succumb to my own personal anxieties and true she likes dune oh my god He's right. He's right. Fear is the mind killer. Okay. Also, someone, this is my favorite type of chatter. He said, where is it? You are right about most things, except when you say anti-communist bullshit about DPRK out of pure ignorance, but it's whatever. You are West pilled. I'm literally the least West pilled, like white, white passing Western leftist broadcaster on the planet. Okay. Straight up. So yeah. You know, no, I, I stand by my statement firmly. I am the only normal uh, anti-Western imperialist. Uh, bro, you stream eight hours a day every day. I think you overestimate your sanity and underestimate your charisma. No, I, I think I am. I don't think it gets more sane while still, uh, you know, behaving this way or having these beliefs. What am I showing my kid, right? Should it be a makeup tutorial for the algorithm? So I'm back on the internet and I want to start speaking more about a lot of my crazy ideas, which I know make people super upset sometimes, but, but if it's morally wrong to be ideating about radical utopia, then how are we ever going to get radical utopia? Because it's not going to be from some existing form of government. Like we've been through all this stuff, trying not to swear, and there's a lot of stuff we haven't tried. and. Most of it will probably be crazy and most of it will fail, but why not workshop it? And if you think I'm too privileged to be thinking about these ideas or speaking about these ideas, I would love nothing more than for everybody else to join me out here and literally prove me wrong. There's nothing I respect more than someone who can prove me wrong.
and that's how we find the solution here so i'm back join me challenge me defeat me prove me wrong whatever let's do it hey tiktok i know i've been a total hermit but um frankly dude, i think this would be i think having grimes on would be incredible dude i just i i see it in my mind okay like imagine having grimes be able to talk about her point of view uninterrupted even though i do kind of interrupt uh, people nonstop, but like i will not but imagine having her be able to elaborate on every single little thing that she wants to talk about <sighs> it's it would be insane okay it'd be awesome grimes would be the perfect guest <laughs> i don't want to be horny anymore i just want to be happy it's true hey if you like this video please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos <laughs>